Like to me, home was just like an empty place for me to just come back and sleep. The way I view love is quite scary. La. Like I don't know what to expect in a relationship now. The immediate effect right, for both of us when they got divorced at different times la, was that we actually really, like no offence, we really hated men for a while. <laughs> because I think uh, like our dad was the like the buffer of it all. La. And then I think we just like naturally were like, you know what, like I'm a strong independent woman, I'm not gonna like settle down, that kind of nonsense. I just have to deal with this like fear of abandonment because since my growing years, I've they were never like my parents and my family were never there for me. So I have to always build up a facade of like I have to be on my own, I have to be independent. I do know that you are supposed to grow together and support each other in a relationship. But I don't I didn't see that in my parents' relationship. So now I don't know what it's like. For example, when it comes to handling conflicts, like how you how are you supposed to do that with your partner without saying things that you don't mean? It happened when I was three. I think I was like primary two. Yeah. Sec three, sec four, so it's like around 15, 16 years old. I was around four to five years old. Yeah, then I remember it was my awards day. So it was a happy day, but then when I reached home, then I saw my dad packing. Then I asked him where he's going, then I said I was wanted to follow. Then my mum got super upset because... I mean, it sucks like, to hear your child wanting to follow the other parent when you are so hurt by it your partner's actions also. So she carried me out of the house and went to my maternal uncle's house. And we never came back home for a month. So we just stayed there for a month to avoid my dad. So it was quite chaotic. Like, I didn't know what to expect. I, uh, I was thinking, like, is this the last time that I'm going to be seeing my dad? What I realised was suddenly I don't stay with my parents anymore. I think at that point, I didn't really know the concept of the divorce. It was just as you grew up and then you realise, hey, why are all my friends going home to parents? And then I'm like going home to my grandparents instead. Yeah, so like at night, I, I cry myself to sleep only. Very sad. <laughs> then I also had like nightmares also. Like I dream of my father, then I wake up and I'm like, oh no, I miss my dad. And I just cry all. I started having suicidal thoughts when I was younger already. Yeah, then I thought like, okay, like maybe if I disappear, then my parents can have a happy marriage again. My relationship with my parents has never actually been good. Cause like, Growing up, I guess I got a lot of pent-up frustration against them because they were never there like throughout any of my milestone. It was always like my friends or my friends' parents that were there for me and like teaching me the right thing to do. There will also be a lot of occasions whereby my mom would just like, ask me like, what if one day like, you know, you and your father divorce, who will you follow? It's just a very, very typical like question that I was asked so most of the time, I'll just stay in school. I'll like go to crash my friend's place and honestly just avoid the whole, the whole idea of just staying at home. When we were very young, our parents were like, you know, very lovey-dovey, that kind of thing. And then gradually over time, they like shout a lot. But then you kind of sense like it's not normal shouting. Okay, the first time they officially formally told us that they were going to separate slash divorce, they told our grandparents while they put us in another room, but they left the door open. So, we're not that stupid. We went and listened to like, what they were talking about. We were supposed to like, keep quiet. And then I kind of screamed. And then I ran across them in the dining room. And then I was like crying. <laughs> and I locked myself in the toilet for like three hours. Yeah. yeah. When I was like, a lot younger, I asked them like, why they didn't want to stay together and stuff. But then they would always like, avoid the topic. So I just instinctively like, stopped asking about it. Then as I grew up, then I just lost interest in it, I guess. Because to me, it's in the past really. Nothing I do is going to change, like, the current state. Personal independence. Because you start to grow up by yourself. So if you can mature fast enough, then you will really learn how to not depend on anybody for anything. Yeah. But then, it's a double-edged sword, so if you can't grow up, like if you can't mature fast enough, then you become very dependent on people that you shouldn't be. Which I think was what happened to me. Yeah. 
Well, I blame myself for my parents' divorce because they were constantly fighting over who should have more time with me. Then I felt that, oh, maybe my time management between spending time with the both of them is not very good. I mean, inevitably, sometimes I will think back and kind of like reflect. Maybe if I did something a little more different, things would have turned out better. So I think when they wanted to divorce for the second time, when we were like in secondary school, we felt like it was our fault. Lah. Like we as kids didn't try hard enough to keep them together. So there was a lot of guilt from that second, di second attempt at a divorce. Lah. But then now looking at everything, I think we... It's, it's, it's something out of our control. Lah. Yeah. Honestly, I was just hoping that when I... Like even if my parents had divorced, right, I just want to stay with one side of the family with my parents. I don't want to stay with my grandparents. I, I hated the idea. And also, like, my grandparents led a slightly stricter life, which has its benefits. But when I was young, I didn't like it. Yeah. I had low self-esteem from the way my parents uh, reacted from the divorce. So, because I resemble my dad, right, and my mom took it out of me because I looked like him. Then over time, I didn't like the way I looked. Because I thought like, wow, the way I, like my face can make my mom act this way. I think I became more reserved. Because I don't, like, I don't like to project how I, like the negative feelings to other people. So when I go to school, I'm with my friends, I portray like, oh, I'm okay. I don't want to bring my problems to you. Everything in my life is fine. Then when I go back, it's like, that's when I really focus on all the negative stuff that I feel. And I feel like that really, like, the level of happiness versus sadness, the sadness just went over, then I just became very introverted. So when I'm fighting with my parents, right, like, and she wouldn't really be there, it also affected me. We have disagreed a lot. Like, a lot of times, I think she was scared to stand up to my parents. And it reached a stage where I was tired of talking for both of us la, and I think I wanted to also like kind of force her to uh, like have a voice for herself but she was very meek and very quiet and she didn't want to do anything so I felt like extra suffocated and I think it kind of like kind of killed the vibe between us for a while now I sorry <laughs> now I remember <laughs> no but I feel bad because it's like because she's like your younger sister right you don't want to force her to do it but at the same time it's like for her own good la. yeah then like when I go to school, I cannot like, I don't wanna like bring all of that to with me, right? So I'll just like go to school and be like some like gundu and like laugh it off. Then like I come home and I just like deal with everything else lah. Cause I also feel like it's a burden if I bring it to school and I tell my friends like, yeah, it's like what good does it do for them lah? Yeah. How do you feel like love from your parents? <laughs> you can answer. <laughs> uh. Honestly, I felt more love from her than my parents. That's so sweet. <laughs> like, cause she really took care of me. Like, she... If anything, I just go to her. I won't go to my parents. My father isn't a good person to begin with. And I don't think he deserves what my mom is able to give him. And as for my mom, she's way happier with another guy now. So, seeing her being happy, seeing her being... Seeing her liberated makes me feel happy. Honestly, I think when I look at, back at it now, I think I wish they did it the first time when we were like in primary school. Although it's like, I mean, they have their reasons for not doing it back then. Like, I think the reason is because they stayed together for the sake of the kids, which was... Mistake it, it, number one. It's, I think a lot of people have the misconception now that yeah, parents must stay together for the kids. But in our case, and I think a few other people's case that I know, right, it's like the worst mistake ever because you're not staying for each other. And even if you stay for the kids, right, end of the day, the kids will suffer the brunt of everything. La, and it just sort of crumbles the whole like household even more. As you grow up, then you realise that it's really not that big of an issue because you can look for friends yourself. You can like find people who better understand you yourself. I don't feel any lesser compared to people that have like proper family because I feel like at the end of the day, you are the one that have to make a name for yourself. And like, yeah, your family can be there for you. But when shit hits the, like shit hit the floor. Like you have to be the one 
dealing with it on your own and like you have to go through all these hardships one way or another and me going through like this whole family divorce really shaped me into a person that knows how to deal with hardships and complications and things like that. When I have recovered from my hurts and am emotionally stable, then I want to sit down and talk to them about it. Right now I'm making the conscious, conscious effort to forgive them for what they did also. Yeah, because I want to reconcile and even though the relationship was toxic, but I think it's okay. La. I'm willing to put that aside so that I can build on the relationship with my friends again.